Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing off the reloaded ICS uh, tweaks for Signage of Mod 9 ROMs. Basically, it is a tweak to make Signage of Mod 9 uh, UI enhancements. So, definitely going to show that off. It should work on all phones running CM9, Signage of Mod 9. So, um, as I said, it should work. I have my Sprint Galaxy Nexus running CM9 at the moment, but as I said, should work. Uh, no matter what device you have, as long as it's running CM9. So, uh, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to this site. As you can see, reloaded ICS CM9 UI enhancements right here. First of all, shout out and thanks to Rob43 Developer for putting this together. Shout out to him and thanks to him. So, what we're going to need to do is scroll down, keep scrolling down, gives you a bunch of information and such. And down at the bottom, you'll see attached files. So, you'll see these attached files. What we're going to need to do is go ahead and click on the latest one um, down here. Whatever one's at the bottom is the latest. So, click on that and download it it'll be a zip file transfer that zip file over to your uh, your phone whether it be your internal storage external storage either one just transfer that zip file on over to your device and you can go back to your phone all right and once we are back to our phone and you have that zip file on your device go ahead and press and hold the power button hit reboot and then select recovery and hit OK so go ahead and reboot into your custom recovery should be clockwork mod or something similar so go ahead and hit reboot Obviously, it, it kind of depends on what device you have to kind of determine which version of custom recovery you do have. But anyways, this should automatically reboot you into whatever custom recovery you do have. All right, and as you can see, it took me into my custom recovery. I do want to make a note that this will, is not compatible with tablets, so phones only. But anyways, as you can see, I have Team Win Recovery, Twerp Recovery. You might have Clockwork Mod. Mine's a touchscreen recovery. Yours might be volume up and down and power button, uh, depending on... Uh, obviously what device you have, but go ahead and just go to install zip from SD card and then go ahead and find that when you just downloaded that update reloaded zip file. And once you select it, what you're going to need to do is just go ahead and hit install. So go ahead and just install. No need to wipe right away. There's absolutely no need to wipe initially. But once done wiping, what you're going to need to do is wipe your cache and your Dalvik cache. So go ahead and select wipe cache, Dalvik cache, and hit uh, wipe. Otherwise, if you have Clockwork Mod, just hit wipe cache and then go to the advanced menu and hit wipe Dalvik cache. As I said, it depends on your device. But once done there, go ahead and hit back and then reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your device. It'll go ahead and reboot your phone. Obviously, we will. Uh, we are on CM9, so we should see the CM9 boot animation. But it will take a little bit longer than usual to boot up as Dalvik cache was wiped. So you need to be patient with this first boot up. And uh, once it boots up, I will be back. As you can see, we have our CM9 boot animation. All right, so my phone has just booted up, and right away, as you can see, you see some differences. If you have a Galaxy Nexus, of course, you see a little bit, bit of a different theme down here. You got light blue buttons with a gray backdrop, and up at the top of the notification bar, you'll see a light blue uh, status bar with some white icons. Scroll down, you see a white backdrop as well. You'll see reloaded ICS right here. So this would be basically the the look of it. It looks kind of inverted, of course, because you got a white backdrop as opposed to a black backdrop. Um, but go into your app drawer and you will see reloaded ICS application. So you'll see this, which will be basically tweaks of the reloaded ICS modification you just installed. So you'll see many of them. Um, go to your status bar and you've got uh, many status bar tweaks. When you swipe down, as you can see, um, basically brightness and sound have been added. So you can turn off auto brightness and change your brightness to bright and dark, of course. So that's very nice there that you can change that along with your, your sound, of course. So you can change your sound however loud you want it, of course. Um, other than that, though, you can move them to the bottom. So it takes a little bit of time to load, but sometimes uh, you'll see it move the notification bar down to the bottom, which is very nice. Obviously not for Galaxy Nexus owners, but um, of course you can swipe up now instead of down. So that's very nice that you have to swipe up from the bottom, which is obviously if you don't have the on-screen buttons, it's not that big of a deal. If you do, you can probably accidentally press them. But you can change your clock position there. You have battery icon set, so you can obviously change your battery icon. As you can see, I have the stock uh, battery icon there, but it is white with the blue backdrop. And you can change it to hide. You have percentage big, 
So you'll see it changes it to a percentage, making it big. Percentage CM9, which uh, changes the percentage and puts in a little icon next to it. You have stock, so the stock icon. You have circle with the battery percentage inside of it. And then you also have honeycomb. So you'll see that uh, changes the look to it uh, with honeycomb style. So, of course, you can put it to whatever you'd like. Um, you also have other settings. You have transparency settings, so you can make some of the icons up there transparent. Mess with that at your own risk, of course. Um, you have notification drawer right here. So you have layout type here. You have regular layout or reversed. We can put it to reversed, and it puts them down at the bottom. So it basically puts the date, your settings button, and all the other options down at the bottom as opposed to the top. So you can reverse those, which is obviously a nice little tweak that you can do. Um, you have alternate no notification style, which kind of makes your notifications a little bit smaller, not too much different. Uh, change your date format, date position, custom carrier label. You can reverse the settings button. So what, uh, what that does is if you check it, you can obviously just tap the settings button and it will take you to settings or you can press and hold on there and it takes you to the reloaded ICS settings. So that's a little nice feature there having um, having that there, the reverse settings button checked. You can enable tabs. What that's going to do is when you uh, swipe down the notification bar, you'll see you don't have the sound or anything like that, but you'll see you have toggles and notifications in separate tabs here. So that's pretty cool. You can actually put those uh, tabs up at the top. So you can put them up at the top if you want them up there as opposed to the bottom. So, um, more settings going on there. So if you like those, it's, it's very similar to the My UI ROM. Having those, you can't swipe between them. You have to tap on them. Um, widget settings, you have widget display order. What that means is, you'll see when I go into it, um, you can put the, uh, basically you can put the sound and backlight on top of your other widgets. So, I mean, however you want to, to put them, you can put backlight or audio on top. It does not matter whether you want, obviously, brightness or sound on top. Um, obviously, it's not gonna really matter. Um, you can change your audio widget, your backlight widget. Um, you can just go into those, you can enable it or disable it. You don't have to have them on, of course. Um, you can hide auto brightness, you power widget as well. You've got power widget settings, which is always baked into CM9, but you can obviously use these if you would like to, to change your power widget. You've got navigation bar, which isn't obviously for all devices since some of them only have them down at the bottom. Um, you, enabling this basically allows you to add a search button to it if you would like to. Choose which, uh, which buttons you can edit the bottom ones down here. Um, so go like that. You can also change the theme. So if you want to change the theme, the first one's the, the uh, buttons. So if I kind of wanted to give it a purple look, a darker purple, I can tap on the color. And as you can see, it changed the buttons right away to a purple look. If I want to change the background, let's say to black, I change it. And there you go. I got a black background with some purple icons there. You can change the themes of those, which is great. Of course, speaking of themes, you can also change the theme of your status bar up here. You don't have to have it be this white and blue look. You can put it back to stock, just turn themes off. You have to allow it super user permissions, but it does take a bit of time to load. So don't be afraid if you don't have back buttons showing up or your notification bars not showing up. Just be patient with it because as I said, it does take a bit of time. There you go. It reloads and up at the top, you'll see I'm back to the black and blue look um, of my notification bar. So no more of that white and light blue look. Um, so nice there that you can put it back to stock if you don't like that theme. You also have recent panel. So what that is, does is basically your recent panel, of course you can have it be horizontal like WebOS or you can have it be default. So default obviously is gonna take a bit of time to load. Once again, default obviously the vertical up and down look, but you can change it to WebOS left in uh, vertical or horizontal WebOS or normal vertical, of course. So let that load on up. As you can see, it loads right back on up to normal. You can swipe them away either way. Um, but yeah, that's really about it. That's a, the reloaded ICS tweak CM9 enhancements on your device running Signagemon 9. Be sure to let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.